We are just a couple miles east of the LAX airport, just off the 405 or the 105 at the beautiful SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Los Angeles Chargers. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field at their own 26-yard line. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. With that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. At the 30-yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. From the gun, Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. The and there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. At the 43-yard line. The last run got six. Now second and four. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. The they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. And now Mayfield on the bootleg. That's out to Chubb, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Mayfield off the play fake. Flushed out right. He'll try and run it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. It's a gain of 10. First down, Browns. First carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. A run for Nick Chubb. And he gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. He finds Beckham complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Cleveland Mayfield to Beckham. We're scoreless after one. With no score. 
The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. Mayfield completes it to Higgins. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. It's a gain of eight, and it brings up third down. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, it took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up good yardage. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. taken about a yard deep and he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. the charger offense making their way back out there this one a little slow to get cooking just a three nothing score line as they begin with a first and ten They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. And sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. You gotta give some credit there, able to hop up in the air and bat that one away. And that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give some type of a pop or a shove, hoping to bring his arms down. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down.
Herbert on first down now. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and two. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Herbert throwing again. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 25-yard line. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. That throw into the arms of Allen. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. seconds to go in the first half. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. To the air again, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. the grab and the Chargers have taken the lead walking into the stadium we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback so you know they love that opening drive and he throws a touchdown pass you get a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped right because they thought they had a quarterback they're thinking they have a quarterback you do this they believe they've got a quarterback look up elbowing each other up in the stands that's our guy Let's check the call. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. well. The holding penalty sets him back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that you can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts 
as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. To throw, Mayfield. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in a field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you've called multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. A gain of six there on first. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Four yards the pickup, first down. First down. Time. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The question to be asked, where does this game go from here as we are back at it now on EA Sports? And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Once more, here's Eckler. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And there's the first tackle of the game for Carl Joseph. He's one of those safeties that you can utilize in any way you want. But I will have to say, I think the number one thing he does best is tackle. And for the Browns, a nickel set here on third down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a charger first. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. On first down, it's Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at their 48-yard line. Out of the gun, Herbert. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. We are seeing two really confident defenses, 
imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Going to throw on third down with Herbert. opening drive in the second half. Yeah, if another touchdown was scored there, now we're talking about a two-score game, and they're probably on their way of creating an excellent gap between them and their pursuers. But how about the defense there able to step up and keep themselves in this one? Now on is the punter long here as he sends this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Will take over with a first and ten deep in their own territory. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First down. First down, they'll run with Hunt. Oh, twisting away. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But if the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. Mayfield throwing complete there to Hooper. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. On second down and four, Mayfield has got Hooper on the short connection, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48 yard line. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. After the sack on first down, Mayfield, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Mayfield. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. One score down. Here we go. 
They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. Caught left side. It's Beckham. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. First down. First and ten, Mayfield. And it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and ten from the 22. And again, it's Mayfield. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First target, first catch, and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Incomplete. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, it's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think about trying to dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Now Mayfield on third and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Browns touchdown. Baker Mayfield with a touchdown pass to Austin Hooper. And once again, the Browns are back in front. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score Browns 10, Chargers 7. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Herbert and the Chargers down 10-7, 2.14 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Setting up to throw on first down. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. It's now second and six. Go. 
A shotgun snap for Herbert. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning. They get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball downfield. Very smart football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, Herbert. Allen's got it over the middle. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Brings up second and two at the 44-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Operating from the gun. Herbert, he dumps it to Eckler underneath. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 45-yard line. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Austin Eckler, the intended target, and it's second down. He certainly looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. He'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Back to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 18 big yards on that one, and a Charger first. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Back to throw. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Now Herbert got to get him to the line in a hurry. He's still the five. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Badgley on for the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. Makes the score. Chargers 14. Browns 10. it away following the touchdown. Now Donovan Peoples-Jones. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now the attention, it turns to the Browns. Trailing by four, 33 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. He 
He's back to throw. And he's got his man on the crossing route. That's Landry. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. Let's see what they do here in this last sequence. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Kareem Hunt is running back, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Mayfield to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. It's second down and ten. Here now is second and ten again from the 41. Here's Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And he was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And now it's third down. It's third down. And ten yards to go. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. One last shot for Mayfield here. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. But going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. So long, everybody.